Hey everyone, and uh, today is going to be a very special video because it's not necessarily a geekly review or anything like that, but I am going to be talking about these two very special products that I picked up from Black Milk Clothing, and I am just so excited, and I specifically wanted to do a video on this because these are two um, products from two different lines that I have not tried out yet. Price-wise is a little bit more expensive. I feel like you're not only paying for uh, the product, but you're also paying for the service. But I knew that I wanted another dress, and I've always wanted to try their leggings because they're not the stereotypical leggings that you can kind of see the person's underwear through. Everything in Black Milk is super high quality and they're all nerd themed. Sometimes they'll have things that'll benefit charities, like they had a, um, I don't remember the specific name of the line, but it was all animal themed and all of the proceeds went to local animal shelters and whatnot. They're based off of Austra out of Australia and I think the first thing I'd like to talk about is um, obviously the shipping. I did the standard Australian postage because I'm poor and I didn't want to spend the extra on uh, expedited shipping, which you are more than welcome to, and I heard that it gets to you a lot quicker. This is the first time I'm opening it, so I'm so excited. Um, I know with like my Mass Effect order, um, they give you, you see here it is, they give you like a lot of fun stuff. Okay, so this is basically what it comes in. It's very nice, it's not like flimsy paper. You know how sometimes it'll rip and it'll show up to your door and it just looks like it's been through a massacre. They like to give you little things pertaining to the product that you had purchased or um, the line that you'd purchased from. And what I really love about Black Milk Clothing is that they're so interactive with their um, customer base and every single time you order something from them they give you this really nice letter I don't know if you can read it but they give you this nice letter and it tells you basically how you can wear it if you're if you're confused on how you should wear your new leggings or your new dress they give you washing instructions which is very important it's something that you have to hand wash and let it air dry so it doesn't shrink on you you always have to take care of your clothes like you take care of your face and your hair and um I got this really cute little card. Uh, they recently launched their Heroes Ammo line, or their superhero line essentially, and uh, let's see, yeah, March 27th, which is when it dropped. But it's really cute. It says uh, your hero name, so let's figure out my hero name. The first letter of your name, S, so it's doctor, and the color of your shirt. So the very first thing that I bought, I had been waiting for months to get, just for the perfect opportune moment. And it's from their Star Wars line, because a lot of the products on there are becoming limited, which means that once they're gone, they're gone. The Han and Chewie leggings! <laughs> first impression wise, the waistband is very like um, firm and sturdy. I don't feel like it's gonna break. You know how sometimes you have those waistbands that kind of kind of come undone here on the inside and then you have an exposed waistband and it looks like garbage? It's like thick but in a good way. Like I know it won't uh, expose anything that I don't want it to expose. They actually look a lot better in person than they do on the website. I couldn't I wasn't sure if you'd be able to read the print, like you would be able to tell that it's Han Solo and Chewie on your legs, but in person, like, dude, that's them, you know, and um, I'm obsessed. I picked them up in a small, uh, because they're leggings, they stretch, and I'm pretty confident that they'll fit me just fine. If you're nervous and you're not quite sure what size to wear, they do have a really intensive uh, sizing chart that you can check in you know, compare your measurements with. Here's my second package, and, uh, oh, if you're curious, this was $85. It cost me $85, and that's including tax. Now, this one right here cost me $95, and I picked this up from the Game of Thrones line. Originally, I had wanted the, the Stark shooter, which I, I'm a, you know, 
I'm obsessed with House of Stark. So, but it was sold out. I love to wear dresses, and I feel like I don't have enough anymore. I got this dress, and it is the entire map of Westeros on a dress. The color payoff right now, it's just, it's gorgeous. And like the detail, oh, I'm, I'm in love. Just because when you see something online, it looks a certain way and you know this is the basic idea and this is what I like. But seeing it in person, there's just so much more detail that I didn't expect to be there. Here is like a little Stark flag for Winterfell. I think the only thing I'm relatively concerned about if I'm going to be honest, is everything is surged and seamed and hemmed and all that jazz, but at the bottom of the skirt, uh, there is nothing. It's just, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just the fabric. I'm not necessarily too concerned that it'll fray a lot, but I will have to really look over the care instructions. Now the reason why it's called a reversible skater dress is because you can either wear it with the high neckline in the front or you can wear it with like a just a regular scoop neck. And it's all just depending on how you're feeling or what you're accessorizing with. So that's super fun and although it's it might seem minuscule, just a little change like that could make a huge difference in your outfit and the way you look. Now I am going to try these things on and I will show you and I will give you my final thoughts. I tried on the clothes, I picked out my outfit, I ended up going with the Han and Shuey leggings. I paired them with some combat boots. I think it was Steve Madden. Let me find out as I take off my boot. Yep, I am actually really, 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 really happy with the way everything turned out. The Westeros dress, I'll start there because I'm not wearing it, the Westeros dress was perfect. I was nervous because it is kind of, it's a skater dress and it has a little bit of a higher waist and I get nervous with outfit with dresses with higher waists because they don't necessarily look as good on me as they would on someone else but the way this fits and the way the skirt drapes around your your waist and flares out it just it fits so beautifully and I'm really happy that I picked it up in a medium because it fit me it fit me like a glove I felt like I wasn't too tight, I wasn't too constricted, it felt just right. In terms of the Han and Chewy leggings, I'm absolutely obsessed. They look so much better on your body. I was quite nervous when I took them out of the package because they looked rather small, but then again they are leggings. But putting them on and actually wearing them, like, they fit and hug your curves or like your body type in just the right places. It's a great material so it's not see-through. I'm wearing like bright royal blue underwear and you cannot see them at all through the leggings which makes me incredibly happy because I know a lot of times it's a struggle to kind of figure out what you're gonna wear for the day because of your underwear. I love the way the small fits. If you don't like things being so tight, I would recommend a medium. You can make some awesome outfits, and even though it's like a huge print and it's kind of like an, an unusual color scheme, it's, I already have like a bajillion outfit ideas just going through my head. At the end of the day, I would 100% recommend Black Milk Clothing to anyone who's interested. I've had a great experience with all of the products that I've tried on and owned thus far. I love these. They're such a great substitute for sweatpants or jeans. I'm so sick of wearing jeans like practically every single day and I am so happy with these. They're just basically like a form of expression that you can wear on your body. Go ahead and check it out. I'll have the link in the doobly-doo down below. The website is blackmilkclothing.com. Easy enough, right? And you can go on there and explore all of their different lines that they have going on. And if you have any questions, they'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Or if you have any questions for me personally about my personal experience with Black Milk Clothing, then feel free to comment down below or send me a message on my Facebook page. Either way, I would love to talk to you about it because I am a, I'm a huge sharky. I am a believer and 
I think everyone should at least own one piece in their clothing, in their wardrobe selection. Thank you so much for watching this little um, clothing review or haul or whatever you want to call it. I had a lot of fun recording it. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you next time with another video. It'll probably be a geekly review or something different. Who knows? Peace out Sailor Scouts and have a good one.